Hello everybody and welcome to this video from TextualHealing.com. My name is Quinn and today we're going to talk about HD TVs, not 4K TVs, HD TVs, okay? Um, 4K TVs, let's do another video for that. I'm going to create a video and I'll put the link in the description. But for now, um, if you're shopping for an HD TV, this is your video to watch, okay? So what we're basically going to do is kind of go over some of the technical aspects um, of what you're looking for. Um, and then come with come up with a basically a, a solution. But for those who don't want to go through and, and watch all the technical jargon, um, I'll just give you <laughs> a basic rundown of what you're going to look for if you're going to go shopping right now. Number one, you want 1080p over 720p if if you have or are looking for a TV that's like 40 inches and above. Um, number two, go for the LED over the LCD if the price difference isn't that drastic. Um, I believe you'll get longer life out of it and there's a lot of really good um, qualities to LED TVs. Look those up yourself. There's way too many to explain in one video, so just look that up, but you'll, you'll find LED trumps LCD. And number three, um, if you have the option of getting a smart TV versus a non-smart TV, Go with a smart TV if the price difference again if the price difference isn't that drastic, um, because it just gives you a lot more options with your TV and you need less devices to make certain things work. Okay, so that's the basic that there's the spoiler. Uh, that's what we're, that's the conclusion we're going to come to. But let's go over the technical reasons behind that. So I'm just going to take a sip of coffee. Hang on. That's cold. It's freezing here right now. Okay, so um, so what we're going to do is kind of take a look at the tech specs. And right now I've only got 1080 and 720 TV selected, not 4K, as I said. And I'm not talking about brands here. I'm not talking about any of that crap. I'm just talking about what to look for. And you, you, you do your own brand shopping and whatever and research on that. But I'm just talking about tech specs. 720p versus 1080p. What's the difference? Okay, so... Essentially with this, um, it's pixels. So 1080p is better than 720. Why? Because there's more pixels, there's more information within your screen, okay? Um, so 720 pixels versus 1080, it's a big difference. Does that difference show to the naked eye when you have a small TV? No. 28 inch, 32 inch, who gets a 28 inch, 32 inch TVs go with 720. It's fine because the, you know, the friggin' size of the screen is small. It's like, it's just like watching. You ever notice how when you're watching an iPad look or watching a movie on an iPad or something, it always looks like super crisp. But if you were to typically, if you were to take, or even video you shot in your phone or your tablet and throw it on your TV and it looks all like pixelated and crap, um, that's because the video is shot at a lower kind of resolution. Um, there's less information there. Um, yeah, there's a, that's a whole other topic. I don't know why I just went into that. But yeah, so that's why like when you have um, megapixels with your cameras and stuff, that's where you'll see that difference when you blow it up. But when you just are watching uh, on a 32 inch, unless you're like right up close to the TV, you'll never see the difference. Okay. So that's number one. So go with the 720. If you have a small TV, if you're into like 40 inch, 50, 60, hundred percent go with 1080. Um, because you will see the difference, especially if you're sitting closer to the TV. Um, now what does the 1080 I versus 1080 P mean? You know what? When these TVs first came out, I saw a lot more of this 1080 I crap kicking around and that was really a, a marketing tool to get people to buy 1080i TVs thinking, oh, it's 1080. No, it's not. This is what you're getting with 1080i. So essentially what you're doing is, the, what the TV is doing is it's taking two different signals here and mixing them together to make one HD signal. It's interlaced. The I stands for interlaced, the P stands for progressive. You don't want an interlaced image if you don't, if you can afford to not have one. Um, the P version is if if you were to have like a 
1080p image. That's basically what the broadcasters are sending out. You're getting the full HD image. That's what they would call full HD. Um, so you're getting a clearer picture. But again, if, if that's you're only going to see that with the naked eye if you have a large enough TV. So that's 1080 versus 720. Okay. Next thing is LED versus LCD. Um, the LED technology is newer. Um, there isn't as there aren't as much studies around longevity and stuff like that. Not studies, I shouldn't say studies, but um, experience. Um, but there are a number of reasons that you should choose LED, in my opinion. Um, viewing angles for one, um, color accuracy, and this is all stuff that you might not care about. Um, so do your research, find out what's important to you, and then make your come to your conclusion based on that. Um, but this, I'm not going to go into that. That's it's a whole big old topic on its own. So that's the LED versus LCD. Didn't really cover that very much, but yeah, I would say do your research on that. And then uh, with smart TVs, um, the smart TVs versus the regular TVs. Um, the big difference with that is the smart TVs. Uh, I, I okay. The way that I explain it to people is if the TV connects to the internet and has additional functionality, it's considered a smart TV. If it doesn't connect to the internet, it would connect to Wi-Fi, it really, you know, the functionality is, is pretty bare bones, right? But as soon as you have that Wi-Fi connectivity, you start to introduce a bunch of really cool stuff. You can have apps, so you can have Netflix, uh, Hulu, um, YouTube, all right within the TV. You don't even need another device. Um, a lot of the smart TVs now will have like casting built into it. So some of them have Chromecast built in. Some of them have another casting software, which you might have to download an app for, say like a Samsung app or something like that. But you can then send content wirelessly from your phone or your tablet um, or your computer, whatever, to the TV. So the smart TV really eliminates a lot of um, the additional kind of media streaming devices and stuff that you would require. So when you break it down, it might just be worth it for you to pay a little bit extra and get the smart TV if you're going to have to you know, go and buy a PlayStation or go and buy a DVD player or a Roku or some crap like that or a Chromecast or whatever. Chromecasts are cheap, but you know what I'm saying. So smart TV, uh, if you are a media streaming type of person, I would recommend it. Though, again, depend it's all situational. If you already have like a PS3, um, PS4, <laughs> why say PS3? Um, you you basically have everything you already need. That's your media device, right? So smart TV isn't as beneficial. But anyway, to each their own with that. Um, if you want the latest and greatest technology, by all means, go with a smart TV. But um, not for everybody. Again, and then every TV is going to have its even smart TVs are going to have separate functionality. So you're going to have to do your own research with that. But Anyway, that's kind of a basic breakdown of what you're going to be looking for. Um, now, out of personal experience, I'm just going to say I really like like the look of Samsung TVs. Um, I've, I don't know this TCL company. Uh, I'm Canadian, so maybe that's just an American company or whatever. I really like Samsung. I really like Sony, LG. Eh. Um, yeah, I'm trying to look at other brands here. There are brands on the side. Yeah, perfect. Um, yeah, out of all of these, I personally would opt for um, Sony or Samsung. Sharp, really good too. Uh, Toshiba. Um, Toshiba's kind of dropped off, but in terms of like how, what they offer. But yeah, so that's basically it as a breakdown for me. Um, like I said, do your research. That's the main thing with any of this stuff. Um, right now, obviously you're doing research by looking up this video. So good for you. Um, if there are any questions, if you guys run into any questions, or you want me to do like a comparison between two TVs or something, I can even do it in a video. Um, let me know in the description in the uh, YouTube video and, uh, I'll do it for sure. Um, any questions along the way, let me know. And other than that, I'm going to wish everyone a happy new year and uh, happy TV shopping. And we'll see you at the next video.